Hey guys, I'm back with another bag review. This was a requested video and I'm going to do it on my new St. Laurent wallet on chain. I don't know what the official name of this is. I'm just calling it a wallet on chain because basically that's what it is. So I'm going to go over what my thoughts on it and also what can fit in it. Um, I really like the strap or the chain. It's silver. It's got, you know, good weight to it. And I really like this leather part here. Um, it's made of caviar leather. It's in chevron print. And it has silver hardware. And this is a really nice caviar leather. It's pebbled, but it's kind of smooth still. And it's shiny. Has no pocket on the back. But I really like this. Um, the dimensions are... Let's see. Seven and a half inches. By... Five inches and I have it stuffed right now with my things so at its widest it's like one and three quarters inches the strap drop is almost let's see about 24 that's long and let's go over the features I guess I love this YSL plate here it's really shiny I've used this bag twice now and I took it out all day yesterday so I think I have a really good idea of the pros and cons of this bag um, actually I don't think there are any cons for this bag except for it's small but that's why I got it so that's not really a con but um, let's open it up it has this St. Laurent Paris in silver and back here now you you're not gonna be able to see it because it's actually embossed in the leather it actually says made in Italy like right here I don't think there's you can kind of see it there um, so I have it stuffed right now and I'm gonna show you what can fit in here and then I can show you the inside of the bag this is like a change pocket I guess I don't have any change in here right now but I do have blotting papers. I always have to have that with me. Um, a lip balm. Bulky eye drops. I have to have these with me at all times. I have a mirror. Keys. And I'm filming with my phone, so I just put a phone case in here. I have the iPhone 6. So that fits in there pretty good. And... A nail file and I have there's six credit card slots in there which I have something in each one and then I have my cash back here so um, this is a really good bag I mean it, it only carries the bare necessities but that's a lot of that's a lot of items you know a very large phone a mirror you know like all these things fit in here and and the bag closes nicely. I did not have to stretch it at all. It closes really well. Now, mind you, this is the absolute most that I can fit in here. I have it, you know, like open as far as it'll go. But, I mean, it fits fine. It's not the bag. It doesn't look deformed or anything. There's Leo. I knew he'd make an appearance. Um, so I'm just going to show you what this looks like on me in different ways to wear it. I'm 5'3", I weigh about 120 to 125, my weight fluctuates, and it hits me right at the hip, and this is how I wear it most of the time. Well, I've only worn it twice, so that's how I've worn it. Um, but you can wear it a couple different ways. You can cross the chain over like that. and wear it on your shoulder, which I will do at some point. And I think that's a really nice length. And I mean, you can always tuck the, the chain in also and use it as a clutch. But what I didn't even know when I bought this is the chain is detachable. And here's like these little claws. So you can take the chain off all the way. And now you can just use it as a wallet if you wanted to. 
or just a little clutch. And it does look cute as a clutch. I think it's really nice. I am not a clutch person though. Who wants to walk around and have to physically carry something in your hand? And then if you set it down, you like, I set things down all the time and then have no idea where I put them. So God forbid if I did that with my bag. So I will probably never carry it like that. I don't know, maybe I will if I'm going to somebody's house for a formal event, which I don't know why I would, but whatever. Anyways, this is the bag. It's super durable. This is like almost scratch resistant, I feel like. It's soft, but it's pebbled. I don't know how to describe it, but it's very structured. Um, but it's an awesome bag. I like this actually way better than the Chanel wallet on chain. I went into the Chanel store last weekend. I was going to buy the Chanel version of this with the Chevron caviar, caviar leather. But I don't know, it didn't wow me. It kind of looked dull also. And this one just looks shiny and beautiful. And and I like the larger Chevron quilts. Um, the Chanel one had smaller ones. But the chain was nicer with this leather part. And I just really like this bag. If you're someone that travels light and only carries the bare necessities when they go out, or even I took this to the grocery store. It was awesome because I had... I couldn't even tell that I had the bag on and my hands were filled with the groceries. So it's an awesome bag. I have no cons. There's, there's no cons. All pros for this bag. If you're looking for a wallet on chain and you're obsessed with Chanel, stop into the St. Laurent store and check out one of these because that's what I did. And I ended up buying this one over the Chanel one. So I hope this review is helpful to anyone who's interested in this bag. And thanks for watching. Bye.